Well deserved, actually, if I may say. I already started recording. Thank oh. you. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the drill. Steve Lowry, Tom Hofarth, our good friend Eric, who normally is just a disembodied voice, but now <laughs> is in my old chair. Okay. The guy used to say there, Beto. We don't know where Beto, Beto is. Beto is not here. He's Ooh. missing in action. Uh, He's got things to do. Right. Well, it's and it's apropos since Beto in Spanish means the wind. No. No kidding. No. Nah, what is Duran? Does it mean that? Mean? What is no, this? it doesn't actually I mean that. I'm apologizing. I think you made that up. I'm, I'm a a sad. I'm Asian, uh, so I don't know that. Oh, Duran. <laughs> uh, everything is pretty much the same, except Beto's not here, so I won't be getting busted for being 50 years old, so that's nice. <laughs> I'm still here. Oh, yeah, that's John's right. I'm still John. here. <laughs> but you almost <laughs> weren't. Almost. So, almost John, yes. regale us with tales uh, of canceled flights. Yeah. Uh, well, there's not really much to tell. Come uh, on. Canceled yeah. flight in uh, Reno was there doing... G League basketball. Who was uh. playing? The Reno Bighorns were hosting the South Bay Lakers. Uh. Oh. South Bay won. No kidding. Well, of course. High score? Uh, not particularly for G League. <laughs> <laughs> G League's usually about 150 each, and they were just about 100. So. No kidding. Are yeah. we talking about and the audience? Who's the, who's, <laughs> the <best South laughs> who's the best South Bay Laker, by the way? Uh, Tra is Travis Ware still there? Travis, Travis Ware, Ware yeah. is down there. Uh, I actually, I'm pretty partial to Thomas Bryant, who okay. was the second round pick yeah. from the Lakers this last Gary year. Payton right. Jr. Gary Payton uh, Jr. Gary Payton Jr. Er, Jr. The second. Gary the Payton second. the second. The okay, second. question. Now, what would stop the Lakers, uh, only about a week left in the season, going absolutely nowhere? Why not drop the whole team down to the G League, win a trophy? You know, they do that in soccer all the time. They're like getting some <laughs> crap <laughs> tournament. Why not? Lonzo! Finally, a place for Luau Deng to play. <laughs> Come oh, on. Uh, he would love that. Come right? on. Why not? Bring home yeah, a little he hardware. He'd be, no, he'd be the OG of the G League. Oh. All right. Well, um, big weekend. Uh, Tommy and I were hanging out at OB's in Manhattan Beach watching. That's a real place. It is a real place. Yes. Obradovich. Watching. It's short for Obradovich, for those right. of you who don't know the South Bay lingo. Yep. <laughs> and tell me, what were we watching? We were watching a kickball game between the Los Angeles professional kickballers yes. and the LAFC kickballers. Yes. Oh, I love kickball. But most of we were watching? Women. Zlatan. Oh, well, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when Beto's not here, you guys do get out of control. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> he is, he but, is good with his discipline. But who was at the game, actually? What do you mean? I was there. He was at the game. Yes. Speak to us more. <laughs> yes, I was there. I was sitting in 121 ACB, the Angel City Brigade section, as uh, one of the supporter sections. Excellent. Um, it was the craziest soccer game I have ever been to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's possibly the craziest soccer game I've ever seen. Um, Did you say that people who had actually been uh, in the stadium when the Galaxy won MLS Cup said this was actually much louder, much crazier? I was there when they won the M their last MLS Cup, and this was the craziest environment I've ever been at Just that stadium. You saw like almost everything possible that could happen in a soccer game, which never happens. An, right. o an own goal, an own goal, a three nothing lead, a, a star comes in in the middle of the game. Only the second time a three old, yeah. a three old. Three zero game yeah. has been uh, yeah I know I, don't, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> no it's just it's been a long day Fresh it was insane and then he comes in to the fanfare and you go yeah nice nice give us a little wave and then kicks the crap out of something from midfield that right. you go yeah. where in the hell did that come from and Boy. that completely like the stadium was already start had already awoken once he came back right we scored uh, the galaxy scored a goal we, he said we I, I did yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy scored a goal. It was 3-1 at that point. Right. Um, he came in, and really you could see LAFC's defense completely shifted. They were overcommitting uh, to focus on Ibrahimovic. That's what I said to you. Did you? No, I said give me another Guinness. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, you <laughs> asked for extra fries. That's uh, right. Well, a after that that goal, uh, after Ibrahimovic's third describe what goal, Okay, describe what happened on that, that like, I don't know, what was he, 40 meters out? or yeah, About something? 40 yards, yeah. So Yards, meters. Like, did people see it coming? Like, because the guy, the goalie, the goalie. Had, yeah, crept uh, out? The guy, the stopper guy. <laughs> really? <laughs> come out too I far. didn't think it was going in until because uh, there was the a back curve of the on net. It. Yeah. And w I was at the opposite end of the stadium, so okay. I could see the, oh, the thing, hold yeah. the, wow. the bend on it, and it did, it went everywhere. But uh, oh. it was, it was one of the most impressive goals I've ever seen, and I read later that he was basically he was winded already, like five minutes into the game. <laughs> and he got the ball. He's like, well, I'm not going to run with this thing. 
<laughs> and he just kicked it. Right. And uh, yeah, I went in. That would have been my uh, my strategy too. And then when he scored the game winner, what was it like in the place? Uh, like? So. Used have you guys ever been to a stat. Galaxy game I before? Have, I have. All right, so you know when the Galaxy I used to, scores, I used to go to Chivas games often. But Boo. Oh, sorry. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're still losing. I like the, I like the bimbo shirts. That's all. Yeah. Um, but when the announcer, when the uh, Galaxy score a goal, the home announcer will say goal by number such and such right. and say the first name, and then the crowd says the last name. Oh. Right. We didn't <laughs> hear the announcer. We right, yeah, could not hear loud? the announcer. Yeah. It was so loud in that stadium that wow. I, I remember just so, a guy next to me was just screaming Ibrahimovic about when you figure it should have been. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought nobody knew his last name. I thought that was the problem. Tommy, I was thinking, you know, wh when you're at something like that, you tend to be like in the moment and sometimes you can really overthink it and maybe over exaggerate the importance. We've had some time to think about this. Right, and I really do believe this is the biggest new arrival in this area since Gretzky showed up for the Kings. Now, I know people are going to say, well, wait a minute, Shaq, Shaq. all this stuff. I was definitely going to say Shaq. But I'll tell you why this is different. Shaq showed up, number one, he, ha he wasn't in his full Shaqness yet. He had yet to win a championship. It was all based on potential, number one. Number two. He was just tearing down backboards. <laughs> <laughs> number in two, college. he was in the NBA that we all know about. Both Gretzky and Zlatan show up well, with the mystery. potential yeah. of actually, remember, when Gretzky well. shows up in L.A., there are no teams in Arizona. There are no teams in Anaheim. the South. There are no teams in Anaheim. Yeah. He changed everything. I kind of think Zlatan could have that effect. I think he could have a bigger effect than, than Beckham had. Well, I, the direction I thought you were going to go in, which we talked about after the game, we thought that was almost like the biggest game in L.A. that we had seen in a long, long time, yeah. a rivalry game. Yeah. We've seen so many USC UCLA games. Lakers Clippers have never gone to that mm. level. Dodgers Angels never, never been on that stage. So when you sort sorting it out, you go, this is probably in the last 20 years for sure. But, it, but compare it to USC UCLA game in any sport, nothing really compared to this. Well, I think it's already, and this is maybe just the sad state of affairs of LA rivalries, professional. I mean, yeah. Um, it's probably already it's the better, the best professional rivalry professional. we have in L.A. It probably is. Because all the other ones are so lame. Yeah. I mean, really, when you think of it, the other best one. Well, Ducks and Kings. I was going to say, have, that's yeah, probably they've it. They've been in the playoffs, yeah. and the Kings Both eliminated the them. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, those have been some pretty good ones. But, again, uh, something about and – I, and I miss being at the events, but uh, the, the, the funny thing is when I process we'll a be the sporting, judge of when I process funny. a sporting event – uh, mostly I'm watching at home by myself, you know, doing media critiquing and listening wah, wah. And, and listening. So I'm not in a bar that much. In a bar, you can't really hear the announcer, so it doesn't I right. can't watch that much. But in the last few months, with a new job uh, situation in my career, I, 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 I go now <laughs> out more as a fan. So I've been at the Pac-12 tournament. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I watch a game in a sports bar, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I mean, it was yeah. just uh, the, the fan experience is really kind of something I've missed, and that's just a personal thing. But I think it's it's not to be overrated that if you can experience sports in a crowd of people, mm. even if they're rowdy and against yeah. you, it's still more fun than sitting at home watching it. Obie's, in fact, is an LAFC bar. And what we found is when we showed up, they are up 3-0. Everyone was kind of in a good mood or whatever. But even they seemed to recognize the greatness of yeah. what they were seeing. Oh, and that yeah. this was yeah. unusual. Yeah, it was on every screen, and there was it was kind of mixed. There was a few Galaxy guys there, yeah. and it was kind of fun to watch them react to being down because people were giving them a little bit of a hard time. But right. But who would have? I mean, the, the the fact that it was a three-zero game, we knew it really wasn't three-zero because there was that own goal. Right. So we sort of yeah, you you know, you're kind of padding the score a little right. bit. Right. But, but the fact I. Never seeing a team come back like that before was just insane. And you know, it was weird when the game was over. They were, sh they had up there the, uh, Zlatan with the two uh, yeah. hosts, Alexi Lawless and some other yeah. guy. But they had turned cops on on a different <laughs> TV, and they had the volume up. So it sounded like Zlatan was saying, "Yes, sir. No, sir. That's not mine. <laughs> it's my friend, sir." I'm like, "Wow, that's he's very he's very polite." Do you have the illustration, by the way? Is there any way you can pull that thing up? The yeah, one we do that, have the the the, that Jim Thompson did for us. Jim did the illustration of us as a group. Jim is now trying to contribute to the the drill in his own right uh, in his own way, and he had a interpretation of that game, which which we can find and show on camera. And Jim kind of was playing off last week when we were talking about Zoltar and Zoltar <laughs> granting wishes. And if you can read what it says there, 
Um, that camera's not on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can't blame this on Beto. This is he doesn't could have just held it up. Yeah. <laughs> One strike for Beto. There it is. So <laughs> and of course, the, the beautiful thing about this is that it, it, it gets to the fact how much he embraces it when he was interviewed after the match. Yep. He just it, it, he seemed to revel in it, but not be the least bit surprised no. at, at what had happened. This is what happens. Yeah. This is what happens. That well, the quote that I loved from his post game was, and the stadium was getting a little restless, and they, there were some people chanting, we want Zlatan, we want Zlatan. And uh, he said, uh, they said they want Zlatan, <laughs> <laughs> so I gave them Zlatan. They get Zlatan. <laughs> now, I haven't even checked. When's their next game? Or match, as they say. You mean the against each other? No, no, no. Just uh, flat well out the next. They've, they've got every week, pretty yeah. much every week. So Do we know who they have coming up next? I don't uh, know. We really should have yeah. done some research. No, no. I think I think one of them is in Atlanta. I think LAFC is in Atlanta, and the Galaxy are playing somewhere. I'll get it. Kansas Hold on. City. I mean, to me, this is way more about a superstar. I don't Kansas know if we City. can say rivalry yet. Do we know anyone on the other team? <laughs> yeah, we know that Rossi kid, right? We know Rossi. Yeah. The, the kid with the great hair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. The 19 year old. Not oh, no, no, no. That's Vela. Or Vela. Vela, Vela, yeah. Vela is Vela. also one of the best Mexican players on the planet. Oh, See? Love, but oh, I love okay. his hair. This guy, okay. like, keeps it perfect the whole time. I mean, don't even get close to me with the head thing. I don't, I don't want to mess this thing up. But it just goes to show why you have stars. Like, LAFC begins terrific, and they're 2-0. and oh, And I think they had outscored people 6-1 to one or something like that. Like, some huge score. And people were talking about him, and Zlatan comes on and just completely knocks yeah. him out. Now you're right; everyone's talking about right. Zlatan. I just feel like I'm pronouncing that wrong. It just it, Zlatan. Zoltar. It doesn't sound very European. No, Zoltar. No, yeah. wrong. Zoltar. But they, so they do have two more games against each other. One in July, I believe, at the new Bank of California Stadium in downtown. Right. LA. Is that yeah. the name of the stadium? Bank of California. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's How do you get there? Just straight downtown. Right off the you start right now, the and <laughs> maybe you'll make it by July. Yeah. It's the name El Tráfico. You, yes. you have, go up the Harbor Freeway. You can't miss it. It's right next to Coliseum. Okay. And then one more back at uh, StubHub, I think, the next month. And they're both like weeknight games, and ESPN has both of those games. Oh, wow. So uh, they've, Perfect. they've locked them down. But uh, wouldn't it be interesting if they made the playoffs and had like a – Ooh, little mini series. That, that would make be a sweet. Playoff series. That and and we were talking to other much more uh, hardcore fans than I am, and they were saying, "Well, they're new. It's they're not. This isn't even a rivalry yet. It wasn't a right. rivalry when they were Chivas, right? Uh, because Chivas was so bad compared to what the Galaxy were, and." They're basically saying this isn't going to be a real rivalry <laughs> until something happens. Right. Mm -hmm. But until somebody just gets happened. somebody yeah. gets knocked that's out. What I mean. Yeah. And this was that's yeah. a good start with. Uh, yeah. With yeah. A huge you know, incredible start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because a good start it, to a rivalry. It's a, it's yeah. a good because I was saying when it was 3-0, I said to Tommy, "Oh, this is great," because it, for a rivalry, I think there has to be some bitterness. Yeah. yeah. You have to be some Drama. angry. So at first, I thought it was the Galaxy would end up bitter, but now it's LAFC, and hopefully, it starts to get a little nasty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Speaking of nasty and bad, the Dodgers. <laughs> As we sit here today, the Dodgers are now, uh, correct me, two and five? Uh, two and five? Two, two and five. Two and five. They just got swept by the D-backs, oh, who wow. have I now beaten them nine straight games regular season. And they didn't even pitch Granky against them. Hoo, 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 hoo. Tommy, is this? Two times a season, the Dodgers have been one hit. Y that's right. They were one hit today. Yeah. yeah, Matt Kemp got a hit. Yeah. yeah. So is this an anomaly, or what are we doing here? They all say, hey, it's the first week. But you know what? They always say, too, that you can't win a division in, the, in April, but you can lose it. Oh, really? I, that's what they do say. They say that. I don't know if we say yeah. it, but they say it. And yeah. so we repeat it because it sounds provocative. Right. <laughs> um, they got 155 games left. Yeah, can they do it? Kershaw's 0-2 right. already, so right. Cy Young is gone. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. They hit two games, and that's it. And then, and then they're they going to go to San games. Francisco, and they'll probably drop two out of three up there. So they'll right. come home, and you know, the, and the ticket sales will be awful. When do the Padres come to town? That's yeah. Uh, not, yeah. Unfortunately, not for a little while. Uh, yeah. I mean, is this, again, wh what kind of worries me is Kenley Jensen has not looked like Kenley Jensen. And, oh. and the thing of it is, except for Mariano Rivera, Relievers do not last. He's been at the top of the game for five or six years. This is about the time when things are going right. to fall off. He's a catcher that learned how to pitch. And right. You know, and, you know re repetition is always going to kill you sometime. At right. Some point. You can't shut it down. Yeah. A guy yeah. like him doesn't get rest. Yeah. yeah. And you could see a little bit of it last year. I don't know. He yeah. said it's no big deal, uh, but 
I no, don't they know, did, man. They did use him. They went. They gassed him a lot in the yeah. playoffs. I mean, they did. two and three innings yeah. at a time. Yeah, fifteen inning game. They to start the Eric season. Is here. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> did we start? Hey, yet? Are we talking baseball now? <laughs> <laughs> I can contribute here. Oh, that's right. We're fifteen <laughs> minutes in now. Eric, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're good. We're, we're good. We're rolling. We're what do you baseball. think? Do you think is, is this a blip? I do think it's or a, a blip, bloop. but it, it looks bad on yeah. um, all fronts. I think the bullpen is pretty pretty gassed after that fifteen inning game. Yeah, you can really tell. Um, I start getting nervous with any, like the way people were talking about them, like it was a fait accompli that they were in, that people were just talking about, gee, they need to get the uh, the home field against the Cubs, <laughs> or uh, as if they're already in, yeah. and in it baseball, that ne it, things never work out that way. No, in baseball, like we were talking about earlier at lunch, by the way, if you're going to have lunch somewhere in the South Bay, the local place on Western the King's Hawaiian, mm. next to the King's Hawaiian. Uh, okay. Yeah, That's it was a very <laughs> wise choice, that is Tommy. Our food recommendation of yeah, the because yeah. we knew Beto wasn't going to be here, and we'd have to have a lot of energy. <laughs> so good, <laughs> good choice by Tommy. Lots Let's eat a lot of cheese, fried chicken, <laughs> fried chicken, and chicken. Uh, macaroni salad. Because yeah. I yeah. am. Uh, but like it got us to thinking about food in Southern California, yeah. and food to me is a ballpark experience. And going back to the Dodgers. The only reason I might go to a Dodger game this year is because of the Kings Hawaiian out in the left field pavilion. They have the, the killer wings that they don't serve at either the restaurant or the local Weird. place. Weird, yeah. With the volcano sauce that they serve at Dodger Stadium, it's insanely good. It sounds delicious. And it's it's like uh, 10 wings for 15 bucks or something. And well, yeah. I haven't had lunch oh. yet. This oh. is yeah. real. What's oh. in volcano <laughs> sauce? Sounds violent. Uh, it's it's a little of everything that you'd want. Okay. A little yeah. barbecue, a little uh, sriracha, a little... Uh, Spicy? A yeah, little uh, Hawaiian spice. A little kick. Little, s mm. little sweet. Mm. Kick. Sounds like it might be sour. a little volcano coming and going. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. There's, hey. there's some, yeah. There's and some and moving on. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? By the way. We Kings were talking so the Dodgers. Oh, well, that's <laughs> yeah. reminded me of Kings Hawaiian. Yes. I love the, that's why I might only go to the game this year. Right, yeah. yeah I, need the, I need the food. Well, uh, there's the Dodgers and the other big local team making news, of course, is the Rams. And every week we've done this, it seems they've made one big move where you go like, oh, wow, this is surprising because a lot of us thought that uh, Stan Kroenke had bought the team basically for real estate. And um, they've been very aggressive. But one thing I've noticed now with this latest deal for Brandon Cooks, who they got from the New England Patriots, they've made a lot of really good deals. Like there isn't a single signing they've had or a single trade they've now made where you don't go, yeah. That's exactly what you want to do. The Patri It's funny how the national media is really centering in on the Patriots uh, if they made this trade because they're looking for a quarterback now for Brady. No one is talking about the fact that the Rams were thinking about going after OBJ. We're going to have to pay him millions and millions of dollars. And now they're probably going to get Brandon Cooks at a discount. They'll probably pay him a, a pretty penny, but not nearly what you pay OBJ. And they're going to get exactly what they want, which is a deep threat for Jer uh, Jared Goff. And star power. Right? Yes. And more star power. It just seems like they, they're in the news. When NFL has an off season and the Rams can make this much news, that's pretty impressive. I mean, especially for someone like, like, like me, like we talked last time, I'm not a big NFL fan. I, something really needs to jump off the screen for me to get excited about. I'm, the draft is probably coming up that I'll really follow more because of local guys getting drafted. But yeah. But, uh, yeah, the Rams can keep pulling this off, and then they have a lot of you know, guys that got to pull them together. Yeah. To see what happens. This is the first time since they've been here that I'm actually more excited now to see what happens with the Rams than USC. Now that mm -hmm. Sam Darnold's gone, eh. Yeah. And mm -hmm. let's just talk 18 seconds. The Chargers. <laughs> 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 Their big signing was a center who's probably past yeah. his prime. Uh, uh, do they got any shot here? Is it too late for them to go back? Well, I don't, I don't th think so. I don't <laughs> think so either. I think they should go Especially back. because most, Absolutely. most yeah. broadcasters still call them the San Diego right. Chargers. So yeah. Yeah. You, you've got that built-in reputation that's never going to leave some people's heads. Not only are the Chargers <laughs> the second team now in L.A. when it comes to football, they're the second team in that venue when it comes to football since now Zlatan's there and he's yeah. the biggest star in that yeah. venue now. Yeah. I think that was the same when, when they moved in. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't yeah, that was not a Charger yeah. game. <laughs> Yeah. The Charger games never saw that excitement. Right. That, 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 yeah. That many yeah. soccer games. That was sort of a <laughs> slap for them, right? That's very, yeah. 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 I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys think these Ram signings are going to put people in the seats, though? I do. Yeah. I, I really do. I think people are excited about it. And like, like I said on, on last week, um, I think they're really following the, the Seattle um, example, which Blueprint. is exactly when you have a young quarterback, you don't have to pay him much. 
So spend your money on defense. That's the, the best friend he can have, which they've done. And you figure you have about two or three years until you actually have to pay him some real coin. I think they, in a weird way, even though they're a very young team, although they've got a little older through some of these deals, but they're still pretty young. I think they feel like they have about a two, three year window to get a lot of this done. Yeah. Is this yeah. to garner excitement to open the stadium, you yeah. think, mostly? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's winning the off season. Yeah. yeah. There is a there is a point to winning an off season. And it really does work because you got Jimmy G in San Francisco, you got that rivalry heating up. Mm -hmm. Plus you've got Philadelphia, who I think is, is seen very much like as a rival now yeah. of the Rams. And if any it's funny though, a lot of people say because of these deals the Rams are now the favorite. I don't know. I mean, I think they've they've done a good job of making themselves better. Yeah. But well, <laughs> when a Super Bowl winning team gets its starting quarterback back, I, I would put them in the top tier. Yeah. I'd yeah. put them Rams, a, Philly, Vikings. I put Philly the Rams. There's and a TV yeah. show. The Rams are going to be much better this year because they'll have a chance now when the season starts. They're going to announce the schedule. I think next week or the week after. Uh, they have the Packers on their schedule. Right. I believe it's a home game. Ooh. They've got Chargers as a home game. Ooh. So they got some decent. Uh, it's a know, first place schedule. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a it's a first place. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a tough one, but it, it'll put them in the spotlight on national TV. I yeah. think you'll probably see more Monday night, Sunday night games scheduled for them. Uh, make the make the Coliseum a place that's happening place again. So there's and you know to what? That. what when when a team is good in the Coliseum and there's excitement, the the Coliseum is still yeah. a magical place. Yeah. To be, you know, right before like little rocks fall down when you're walking <laughs> through those tunnels, and well, it's, it, it's all torn up right now. Yeah. So it's they're they're really building it up, and that's for USC's benefit, but also the the Rams are going to benefit from a for a couple of years with new seats and new uh, uh, suites and things like that. Yeah. New concession stands, things that the Coliseum was in badly need of, of a facelift, and now that they're finally getting it. Yeah. So uh, it works for everybody. I think it's going to be a really neat experience. Tommy, give us the biz. The biz. The biz. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't know what that is. Well, a couple things in the biz this week. Uh, one is uh, Facebook started its new Major League Baseball schedule with a Mets-Phillies game today. Mm -hmm. That caused a little bit of consternation from those, especially on the East Coast, who don't don't use Facebook and they weren't yep. able to see the game. It was a exclusive telecast on Facebook today. Okay. Um, and from what the data showed, there was like 86,000 viewers and 1.1 uh, 1 .1 million reactions, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty high. So what I does mean, that mean, Kind of like Johnny? our show on Facebook. John, what, what's reactions mean? What is Reactions that? would be a like, uh, oh. a dislike, oh, okay. an anger, yeah. a sad face. <laughs> All the faces. So All the faces available yeah. now through Facebook. This is what's putting dinner on people's tables now. A so sad yeah, face. So sure Facebook is. is basically <laughs> – Facebook did about 20 games last year, and they paid about $35 million to do hmm. like a game of the week, mostly a Wednesday game that's right. mo pretty much off everybody's radar, just to kind of feel out how they can use this medium, whether it's, a, it's kind of a cool thing. Twitter is also going to show about 20 games this year um, starting on Thursday. Those aren't exclusive, so they'll right. show what they had – head-to-head -head with the, the local team coverage. So the question is, are you up for watching a game on Facebook? And the cool thing about it, in some regards, like we've talked about with our show, is you can do live comments. So you can it's a very communal process right. that they hope uh, they get to find out about. Um, funny, people were also talking about, well, Facebook brings in a, a, a younger, skewed audience. Yeah. But the fact is, I think Facebook's medium age is like 40. So it's not really yeah. doing them a lot of good. It's all your parents who... Yeah. Might be able to see it. And the reason why they're doing it also, they try to do more day games is so people can watch it at the right. office and sort of get involved in it. So, I mean, yes, thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah. Games on games on Facebook, that do anything for you? Well, I'm not a Facebook guy. Yeah. You guys I'm, you guys are probably Facebook right. people younger days, right? Have uh, you jumped off like no, so many I'm others? I'm still very much on Facebook. Yeah. Um, it doesn't bug you all the moms and oh, no, it totally vacation does. photos? It totally does. Yeah. But those are all my friends now because I'm 30, so <laughs> it's like... <laughs> But all my yeah. friends are moms and right. have houses yeah. and right. stuff so back in the Midwest. Pictures. Right, <laughs> John, when you're on on Facebook and adding to it, what what is the kind of narrative you're trying to? Because of course everyone feeds this false narrative of how great their life is. What's the false narrative you're feeding to your Facebook people? Uh, that nobody should actually move to California. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay there. Stay. It'd be so great. Overrated. To see some snow every now and then. <laughs> Good idea. Some rain. <laughs> Yeah, you do the thing that people always say, oh, I'd love to have seasons. No, I make fun of my friends back there. It's like, really? oh, yeah, is it is it freezing? Oh, that's <laughs> that's terrible. Um, I just 
kind of am just me. I don't try yeah. to push any narrative or yeah. anything on my personal Facebook or anything. Yeah. It's just I I have certain things I care about and I'll share yeah. those kind of things. But beyond that, I'm not like trying to lie to the world. Right. Eric, why do you lie to the world? Height. <laughs> <laughs> Look about six I've been there, brother. <laughs> is that right? Oh yeah, you can't tell. <laughs> what do you? So, what does your Tinder profile say? Uh, I don't put my. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. I didn't think you had one. I was telling Tommy today <laughs> about a. Active. Uh, I was telling Tommy when I was online dating uh, years ago that I used to read these things from women who would say, um, "I'm looking for my soulmate, my best friend. I, I really want to connect deeply." And you better be six foot because <laughs> I want to wear heels. I'm like, oh, it's, you're obviously yeah. taking this very seriously. <laughs> and in fact, one time I, I kind of maybe mm, lied just a little about how tall I was, and, sh and the woman showed up. And she and called you out on it immediately. Well, didn't she you didn't that? need to. It looked like I was dating my mom. <laughs> I was like, all right, you want to go to the movies? Which wouldn't have been the first time. All right, yeah. well, why don't we go in here and get a drink, you yeah. know? Uh, next on the you. business. Next on the business. Next on the business. Give us the business. I don't know. You heard uh, this week ESPN Plus is going to launch. It's a over-the-top mm. service. I had not until this email. Four, oh yes, uh, <laughs> four ninety four ninety five. I believe it is. Okay, yeah. so what do I get for four ninety five? Well, you get basically if you've been one of the people who know I've cut the cord, as they call them, as mm -hmm. what the kids call it. Right. Uh, and you <laughs> don't get ESPN based on your use of Netflix or some other. Now you can get ESPN Plus. Which basically shows what's on ESPN, except you know a little bit more streamlined. Okay. Um, a lot of the live games that they show anyway. Okay. Um, so I can get the uh, the Monday night game, the football game. I believe so. Uh, and I get college football too. It's very soccer heavy. Okay. Uh, college, the there. PGA, tennis, rugby, cricket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So right. maybe Perfect. that. Okay. You know, it's one of those y you get what you pay for. Right. And five bucks is pretty much. If you had a, a cable system service, ESPN would probably cost you in the eight to ten dollars a month range. Which I believe it's eight dollars. Yeah, which people don't even realize how much that is a, s a drain on your account. Right. So it's a way to sort of circle back into ESPN on a on a you know more cost efficient basis. So is this is this ESPN acting out of strength or? Well, it's <laughs> reacting because everyone else is doing it, mm. and uh, okay. CBS has one of these services. Bleacher Report has just announced they're going to do one of these things also, which uh, gives them access to whatever's on Turner, which is mostly the college basketball tournament right. and uh, some baseball and some NBA. Yeah, NBA is key for them because they can also they have they have they're locked in the NBA uh, package, the game package where you can uh, you know decide I want to watch this game and you now they're going to offer it for uh, a reduced price if you're like if you join the game in progress. Right. So it's you know there there's pluses and minuses to it, but uh, I mean, what do you guys think about? access to these kind of things it's the future I yeah i'm a hundred i am a big believer that this is the way everything's gonna go mm -hmm. and i've been saying the moment espn decides to pull this because hbo was the first one to do it yeah um as soon as espn did it goodbye cable companies yeah mm. pretty much like this yeah. is going to be the beginning of the end well i want to ask you guys as the young guys I, I i have direct tv but Basically, all I do is watch sports and House Hunters. Yeah. That's it. Those <laughs> are the two shows I watch. Okay. If I want to get rid of DirecTV, and I truly do, mm -hmm. what would you say right now is the best service to have? Is it YouTube TV? Is it this thing? If I want to watch live sports. I have DirecTV now, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which is their streaming-only service. Oh, oh, DirecTV now. Oh, I yeah. thought you were oh, giving me yeah. a time frame. No, no, okay, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, no, I tried, I tried yeah. to put it all together. <laughs> DirecTV <laughs> now. He's such a pro. Right. Such yeah. a pro. Um, you explain yourself. <laughs> understand <laughs> 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 but uh i have that and it gets uh you mean now you have that now currently yes <laughs> direct tv now currently <laughs> oh. is what i have in my house yeah. ah. um i like it a lot uh but i also how much you pay for that 25 bucks okay mm. um, and what do you get 50 channels basically all of your basic ones your yeah, hd tv is in there or something whatever okay. house hunters is on i don't know what channel that's okay. on but um but for basic service, I mean, if you're only going to watch your normal local channels and stuff like that, right? you can't beat it. Uh, yeah. Then, you know, you can borrow Tom's login and get everything else yeah. you need. Yeah. Right. As oh, most kids that do that good. age, they do borrow, they choose share logins. Now, by the way, th this is a way to announce that we will be launching here on The Drill Eric Vision, where we'll be <laughs> seeing Eric performing <laughs> menial chores around the house and... <laughs> Other things that you'll be quite surprised about. They uh, call it the E-Channel. <laughs> it's our local E-Channel. <laughs> that Eric's all about. 
Tommy. Yep. Come at a reduced rate. Extra Price $5, he won't wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> For $10, he will. Um, oh, the only other thing I wanted to cover in the business, yes. I don't know if you guys are aware of this thing, but now the NBA has started a NBA 2K league. Yes, the draft was today. The draft was today. 17 teams are involved, but not the Lakers and Clippers. Why? For some reason. Yes. Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. I could not get an answer from my younger friends about this. Yes. But uh, And the E-League will now be shown on Twitch. Yes. So okay, so, so correct me if I'm wrong. So these are people who are kick-ass NBA 2K players. Right. And, the, and so, they're, so you're drafting them? The teams are drafting them. Each team has a E-League team. You're drafting the player, not the NBA player. No, no, the, the, yeah, the, the Correct. gamer. We call him the gamer. Is you're you're drafting him? the gamer. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. And how many gamers on a team? I think six. It's five or six. Yeah. I can't okay. remember off yeah. the top of my head. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And they're going to pay these guys, they, these people, these yeah. fans, like thirty thousand bucks, you know, for a season plus medical and yeah. I mean, they it, they're <laughs> they're well paid people considering <laughs> what they do, right? Yeah. Well, I'll well. just say it again. This country used to make steel. That's yeah. all I'm saying. And the NBA, <laughs> you know, the NBA gets sponsorships from Intel, from, you know, well, all these. Well, yeah, fellas, so this is just right. yet another example right. about how the NBA it's does it first. It's a money stream. It's oh, another money stream. Oh, they're so yeah. good. You know, in fact, I, I heard something the That's other day. That's what I that think is the bottom line of this. They, they do, they're way ahead of everybody else. It's the most forward-thinking league. In yeah. fact, someone brought this up the other day. People say, well, why are NBA players taking a knee during the, the Star Spangled Banner? Well, it's because... It, w it, was, it was football players' frustration that the NFL wouldn't recognize the problems that are going on in our society. The NBA is ahead of it. The oh NBA yeah. addresses it. There's they, no they reason. To pro it. Exactly. Right. If you want, if the, the NFL keeps trying to figure out how do we solve this problem, maybe by addressing yeah, the problem. Talk it through. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Let the players talk. Let yeah. them, you know, get the... Not not to have this phony meeting with Roger Goodell where yeah. we're going to have this out and we're going to televise this and we're right. going to go away and these are our action items. That, that doesn't yeah. work. Somehow they sidestep the entire issue. It's yeah. 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 And, I mean, they, they're forward thinking. They moved the All-Star game. Right. That was an incredible move. Yeah. 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 And, by the way, Tommy knows about problem solving because he's been married three times. So hey there now. you go. Hey. Way to go. <laughs> so let's finish up with a little history. <laughs> a little history. I, I have a lot what of What was that sound? That <laughs> what, what was? Give me that one again. <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. Hey. hey. Anyways. <laughs> How much was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, I won't ask. I'm sorry, Steve, but did you, did someone, did you have a new domestic situation? Hey, anyway, <laughs> so. <laughs> hey, now. By the way, I'm feeling so logy right now. That is a word, right, from the chicken? The chicken is really oh sitting yeah, there it's now. sitting there. Anyways, last thing. Uh, history lesson. History lesson. We'd like yeah. to talk a little about history. Elgin Baylor, nice. fellas, do you know who Elgin Baylor is? I do. Okay. Yep. All right. There he's, he is. He's getting a statue. Mm -hmm. He's got a new book out, and he's getting a statue, which many, many, many people thought was way overdue. Yeah. Basically, I think after Jerry West got his statue, Elgin Baylor yeah. should have gotten his. The Michael Jordan of his time. Absolutely. Probably the single most overlooked iconic player in almost any sport. Stan Musial, I think, Very held athletic. that for a long time. Yeah. I mean, he hang time really is what he he could do that defied gravity at that point. Yeah. And the the, the points that he would put up were Jordan-esque in the at the time that he played during his career. Right. The ironic issue with him is he quit. His last season was about uh, 20 games into the 71-72 season. The day he quits, the Lakers win 33 straight games. Make it look like eh, we really didn't need him all that much, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, he had been to eight NBA finals, yeah. lost them all. He yes. he retires. They win the championship. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's kind of like Beto not being here and this yeah. being oh, the best show exactly we've ever like done. <laughs> you were the because I think we all agree. Jimmy McMillan of the trio now. <laughs> I used to love Jimmy <laughs> McMillan. <laughs> Columbia's Jimmy Columbia, McMillan. Six oh foot yeah, five, Jimmy very McMillan. nice. Yeah, I still remember but Chick Hearn introducing. <laughs> 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 Baylor's numbers are insane. Right, you were happy, Hairston. <laughs> Baylor's numbers were 27 and 13. Yeah. He was really the first stretch four when you think about it. Yeah. Um, and Had and a horrible career as a Clipper GM. Which lasted way too long. Yeah, way too yeah. long. Yeah. I mean. Law lawsuits and just turned ugly. And <sighs> um, it's, it, it's kind of a star-crossed career for him. But, you know, the statue... Maybe it's a nice way to sort of tie it all together, give people, give him his due, give the fans one more chance. To you would hope so, but unfortunately I've heard that the statue will be of him selecting Michael Olawakandi. So <laughs> it's, you got to go you know, with what he's known for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a, yeah. you know, it's a little kind That's of. That's true.
Anyways, to defend executive Elgin Baylor, he yes. did win executive of the year in the NBA That's in true. 2006. It was Stop a, it. It was a bad year. What did he get? Th- what did he do that year? He was the executive of the year. He survived know. Donald Sterling for yeah, that. That is I, true. Yeah. It was a career yeah, a award. award it was a career award. <laughs> 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 Fellas, uh, we're 35 minutes in, and we're getting the hell out of here real quick. We're none of those 50-minute deals. One more thing. Yes. We could break our record. Come on. We got to talk Angels. Otani. Angels. Okay. Otani. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is happening as well. We don't know what's happening. Well, John, what's uh, what's an update from uh, Anaheim? It is uh, still 2 2. Bottom of the 11th. Okay. No outs. As we speak on this Wednesday afternoon, Otani has hit a home run tonight. He hit one the other night in his first at bat as an Off Angel. Off a Kluber, two mm-hmm. times Cy Young yeah. winner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The night after he hit a three run home run in his he, first I, at bat. You know, as much as Anaheim. I saw him play in uh, spring training, I did not realize how much he is like Ichiro in the way that he swings, yeah. kind of like a tennis swing. Right. That's a little left handed backhand thing where both his feet and his whole body just kind of take off. But, you know, those swings, the Je- uh, Japanese league swings, look a lot like, if you ever look at, like, the Ty Cobb swings from uh, the 20s or stuff like that, it's they look very similar. Very similar. I didn't realize you were going to baseball <laughs> games is there to film see of Ty this? Cobb Jesus play. Christ. Is there film of this? Is film this exists. This is a technology is that a w- was invented before today. Artist rendition? Black and uh, white. I don't like that interview. <laughs> <you. laughs> Let's no, get back to Ty your Cobb strange Otani love, Ty though. Ty Cobb was the guy with the, you know. Yeah, the, yeah the, he would actually have it separately, yeah. And like, like he was... Hitting something with right. The, like well, a normally a minority, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. just, yeah he's somebody. Yeah, Ty was not a nice guy. Wah, wah. Let's get a boo for t- <laughs> let's get a boo for Ty. Boo for Ty Cobb. Yeah, yeah. Boo. <laughs> that's right. Boo, Tom. Stop sliding Tiny spikes b- high. That's right. And for Otani. So have you have you had this Otani love the whole time, or is it is a new uh, deal? It might he have started last night. He lives in Irvine. <laughs> Does he live in Irvine? Does Otani? Is that where he? Is uh, I'm not. I know he lives in Orange County. I don't yeah, know. If it's I think Irvine. Irvine is probably. Yeah. But as bad. as Eric's next door neighbor, uh, spoilers everybody. Um, <laughs> This love started the moment he was signed, okay? Uh, uh, spring training might have got a little quieter. Wasn't <laughs> sure if he was going to make the team. When he had a 27 know, right? ERA. Yeah, yeah. When, yeah. He, when he, he hit that home run, the, the boom from the crowd just on television, right. I thought it was. Good, because it drowned it out the broadcasters, which I. Was, Are we talking Fox Sports or ESPN? And we're talking, oh, did you watch ESPN version? It was on both. Oh, good for you, Fox good Sports. for you. Mm. I would endorse watching ESPN whenever the Angel broadcast is on. Um Enough said. I love Mark Gubiza. Yeah. And let's move on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you you came up with a couple interesting proposition bets regarding Otani. Oh, Share. Yeah. All right. Otani pitches and he hits. Will he get more strikeouts? Will he strike out more hitting or will he strike out more batters? Got mm. it. Okay. I will take batters. I'm going to take batters on that one. Will yeah, because he could strike out runs? 10 a game. He's not right. going to strike out himself 10 a game. All right. Game. So that was awful. That's I'm really yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's regretting horrible, this already. Yeah, Go ahead. Horrible, Next right? one. Will he hit more home runs as a batter or give up more home runs? That's there we go. That's or more home runs or wins. Home runs That's an interesting wins. one, too. I think that's that do that. both could be in the 15 range. You, th- you think that's that's about it? I think He's already got two. Well, you're, well, then yeah. he's not going to win 30 games. But yeah. He could hit 30 home runs. So that's yeah. A, see, that's what that's I think. I think it's more bet. home runs. Yeah. yeah. And you know what I noticed about it? you? You bring up Ichiro, but I remember Ichiro always being kind of a little, you know, tight, like quiet, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I, I saw yesterday when he hit the home run and he comes in the the, oh, the dugout, dugout and they, they freeze him out. That was awesome. And he was having he had a really good time with yeah. it. He yeah. could. He I got don't know. all the American treatment. He got the silent treatment. Yeah. Right. He did a curtain call. Yeah. And he got the Gatorade. That's right. Yeah. 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 So great. So we love Otani. So far, I'm not saying he's going to hit 700 home runs, but yeah. I mean, no one's done this in 100 years of baseball. It's mm. amazing to watch. It really is. And oh, you mean there used to be baseball 100 years ago that I referred <laughs> to and got a bunch of crap? Yeah. Okay. Babe Ruth. Babe yeah. Ruth. Yeah. There's pictures. I don't know if there's videos. There are but. pictures. <laughs> pictures Black exist. And white. You got crap for saying, well, when you like watch Ty Cobb, <laughs> we, uh, when you watch Ty Cobb, yeah, I didn't Look, really man, watch if you're going to bring things up that I actually say, I then we're going to have a tough time. I saw time, the movie yeah. Ty Cobb. Did you? Th- oh, yeah, with uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, yes. Who's more unlikable, Tommy Lee Jones or Ty Cobb? <laughs> mm, Tommy ooh, Lee. that's a tight one. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. Yeah. ooh. I think the. Well casted. Yes, um, very good. <laughs> now, who was the who played? Uh, Tom Hanks is Ty Cobb. No. In the, t- in, in the Ty Cobb movie, who played uh, the uh, writer? The. Uh, Oh, 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 it was uh, the dude who was on that awful H- HBO right. show. Uh, Robert, Robert Wool. Robert Wool. Oh, that's. He's you, more remember awful. that show, Arliss? Oh, the worst. Robert Wool is more oh, awful that than guy both sure. those guys. Yeah. All right, we're talking about Arliss, so the show's over. 
<laughs> okay, guys. Now Beto, remember, we hope remember, you're feeling well, whatever the heck you're doing. Remember, go to FarthersOffTheWall.com for the uh, replay and the breakdown of what we did here. Yep. Follow like us, us which on was awesome. Facebook. Like us on anything. Facebook. Yes. Just YouTube. Like me. Tinder. Yes. Lots of reactions. <laughs> we want the reactions. <laughs> we, li we, we like reactions. Yes. And uh, Steve at Steve Lowry 12. Yes, at Steve Lowry 12. At Tom Hofarth. At well, since you followed me and put me on public, uh, I guess I'll, um, it's McElvey the John. I put you on public? Ooh. Yeah. No, it's a, so if you could figure it out. No, I was just yeah. going to keep it hidden and all oh, that other McElvey stuff. But yeah. He's got a lot of things that we don't yeah. know about him. Yep. And, and then oh. Eric. Swipe right on me. <laughs> Howdy ho. Thanks. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. We'll uh we'll keep on trying. More chicken, please. Mm -hmm.